So I don't know if you saw the latest news, but Figma has introduced a new feature called multi-edit. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how it works and how you can use it in your workflow to speed up your design process. Now, if you want to download the file that I'm gonna be using in this video, I left the link down in the description below. And with that out of the way, let's jump over to Figma and see what this multi-edit is all about. So how does multi-edit work? Well, the first thing you need to do is to select the object you would like to edit. So let's go ahead and click on this purple dot. Once you've selected this, you'll see that here on top, you have this new icon called Select Matching Layers. And if you click on it, you'll see that Figma will automatically select all the matching layers inside your frames. And Figma identifies those layers by making sure that they have the same name and the same position. Because look what happens if I change one of this purple dot's name. So if I click on this middle one and I just change this to purple one, if I do the exact same thing as I did previously, you will see that Figma will only select these two dots. That's because the middle one has a different name. So when you use this feature, make sure that all of your objects are named exactly the same. Now let me show you what happens when you have multiple objects that have the exact same name. So I'm just gonna select all of these objects over here and using a plugin, I'm gonna rename all of them dot. So I'm just gonna go here over here to plugins, rename it, rename selected layers, and I'm just gonna call them dot and hit rename. Now, as you can see, all of these layers are named dots. Now, what happens if I select my purple one and I use multi-edit? Well, as you can see, Figma has correctly identified these because of the position of the dot. Now, multi-edit also works if you want to select multiple objects. So let's say, for example, that I would like to select A and C. So if I click on A and C and select both of them and go to multi-edit, you'll see that Figma will correctly identify the layers that have the same name and it's the same position. And then what I can do is I can make any modifications to these layers and they will ripple across all the frames where they're present. Another feature that they introduced is that now they allow you to align your objects within your frame. So let's say for example that you have these dots over here. Now previously if you wanted to align these dots to be the same as these ones inside this frame, what you had to do is to select all of them, align them and then just manually drag them until they're in the center of the frame. But now with this new update, you can actually do this with a single click. So let me just put these over here and let me show you how easy it is now to do this. So once you have all of your objects selected, just hold down shift on your keyboard and hover over here where you have your alignment options. So you will see that here, these options now are allowing you to align all of these objects as a group. So if you click on this, you'll see that all of these three dots will be aligned inside your parent element. And the beautiful thing about this is that if you have multi-select, they will work on all frames. So if you have all of these dots misaligned, you can just hit, hold down shift on your keyboard, head over here, align them vertically, and you will see that all of these dots will be aligned inside their parent element, which to me is a very useful feature. Now, in terms of what properties you can modify with multi-select, you pretty much can modify absolutely everything. So you can modify how big or how small your objects are, the corner radius, you can change the colors. So basically they're behaving like components. But what about text? Can you use multi-edit with text? And the answer is yes. Now if we take these cards over here as an example, let's say that we want to change everyday runners to amazing runners. The way we will do this is by double clicking on it till we have the text layer selected. Then we would head over here to our select matching layers. And after we click it, you'll see that here on the left side, we will have another button called multi-edit text. And if we we click on it we can now change the text on all of these cards so now if I change every day to amazing you will see that this change will ripple across all my free cards. Now, another thing that I like about this update is that Figma allows you to select which element you would like to edit. So it doesn't force you to select all elements that have the same properties. So if we look here at this next section, you'll see that I have these free cards. And let's say that I would like to change the title only for the first card and the last card. How do I do that? Well, it's super simple. What you have to do is to first select your element. So in my case, it's the title over here. And once I have this element selected, just hold down shift on your keyboard and when you do this you will see that Figma will automatically highlight the elements that match with the selected element so that you can select which ones you would like to edit so for example if I don't want to edit the middle one I can just click on the last one and then head over here on top where I have this multi-edit text click on it and now if I change this to amazing runners 
these changes will only take place in my first card and my last card. So it's nice that they actually provide you the option to select which elements you would like to change and they're not forcing you to change all of your elements just like you would do when using components. Another thing you can do with multi-edit is that you can rearrange your objects inside your auto layout. And you're probably thinking, but I can already do that. Yes, but with multi-edit you can change the position of that element regardless of what auto layout you're using. Let me show you what I mean. So here, for example, I have a vertical one and a horizontal auto layout. Now let's say that I would like to move this purple to be in the first position. What I can do is to select this purple tag and then head over here to multi-edit to make sure that I have both of them selected and then I can use my arrow keys like up and down to move this one in the vertical auto layout and then left and right to move this around in my horizontal layout. So now if you happen to use multiple auto layouts but have similar elements inside of them, you can just move them around using your arrow keys. Another thing you can do with multi-edit is that you can change multiple variants at once if you have a component like I do over here. So the way it works is that you would select a variant and then head over here on top where we have the multi-select and once you have all of your variant selected inside that component, you can go ahead and change the property. So for example here I can just add 99 coin corner radius and all of the variants inside my component will change. Not only that, but you can add elements inside all of your variants at once. So for example, if I go over here and just copy this icon, and let's say I would like to add another plus to all of these variants, what I can do is to go ahead and select the variant, go and select matching layers, and once I have all these variants selected, I can just copy and paste my icon, and that will be added to all the variants inside that component. Now this example might not be that impressive, but just imagine using this when creating design systems. Now another thing that they introduced with this new update is that they allow you to create components and replace them inside your designs in just a few clicks. And I think like all of us had this issue when we started creating a few designs and then after 30 or 40 versions we just decided like you know what I think like this navigation bar should have been a component. And the pain was that you had to just take one of these, create a component and then just take this component and replace it everywhere in your designs. Well now they actually fixed that issue and here is how it works. You simply select the element that you would like to create the component of, you go over here to your select matching layer, you click on it and after you click on it you will see that you have this drop down under components and you have the ability to create the component and when you click on it Figma will automatically create a master component and replace all of those other elements with copies of your master component which is over here. So now you don't need to spend any more time replacing your elements with copies of your master component. And the last thing that I want to show you is that now we finally have a reason why we should use sections and here's why. So let me just delete this master component over here and let me just make a copy of my designs and also I'm just gonna grab all of these six frames and I'm just gonna make a copy underneath. Now the way we saw that multi-edit works is that if you select an element like for example this text and if you click on multi-edit that element will be selected across all of your designs if the position matches and if the layer name matches as well. So then you can just go ahead and change this to whatever you want. Let's say for example that I want to change this to purple you will see that this change will take place across all these six frames. But what if I only want to select a couple of them. Well we have the option when we actually hold down shift on our keyboard and select them manually but there is also another option and that is to put our designs inside a section. So look what happens for example if I click on this text and then select my multi-select. You'll see that only these three elements were selected and that's because Figma identified that these designs are inside this section. So when we use multi-select we can actually separate our designs using sections so we don't modify elements that we don't want to. So for example I can say that this is V1 and V2 and let's say that I would like to show my client uh, an option with purple text so I can just quickly go over here and change this text to purple and then present the other version of my designs with a dark text. So now this is how you can use sections to separate your designs. And these are pretty much all the features that Figma have introduced with this new update. Now let me know in the comments what you think about this new update and if you're going to use it. Personally, I think I'm going to use this, but I'm not going to replace components. But this will definitely help me to manage those components and especially my design systems. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you're not part of the club yet. 
follow me on Instagram and X and I will see you guys in the next video pretty soon. Peace!